Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use ClickUp. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offerages under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using ClickUp here? Well, using ClickUp is fairly easy, especially if you have experience on other platforms. Like for example, if you have example with using Trello or any kind of similar platforms out there. So using it is pretty easy. So in this case, what we need to do first is we need to have an account with ClickUp here. So you don't, you don't need to have the upgrade plan here. The basic one is good. So in this case, how do we start using it? Well, for you to start using it, what we need to do first here is we need to be familiarized with our UI. Now, in this case, at the left panel, we have our basic uh, sections here. So homepage will contain the different general information about your account. Inbox would contain some messages that you'll be receiving here or in this case, important notifications. Just in case like uh, something happened, like for example, if a task actually is actually uh, assigned to you, if there are any comments or messages uh, that you might need to know, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to see it. Now, document series uh, actually allows you to view documents that might be related to a specific project or any uh, thing that you've actually uh, uploaded in here. So you can actually create a document here or you can even do like campaign brief and actually import them if you want to and even browse different templates if you want to create your own uh, document here. Dashboards is going to be your dashboard here. So if you want to see different information about your projects, uh, certain uh, projects or Steam spaces, this is where you'll be able to actually see them. Now you can create your own dashboard here by basically uh, using team reporting or a simple dashboard here with just the uh, prioritization of daily tasks. Now we also have clips here, which in this case allows you to basically record in a snap, unlock a sync productivity here, and as well as watch and share and collaborate. So just in case, like for example, if you did a meeting or you did something, you want to record that and basically share this to your coworkers or your teammates, this is where you'll be able to actually do it. We also have timesheets here, which in this case allows you to record your time. So for example, if you've started working on a task, you can actually t record your time here and basically have an accurate reading on how long you actually did a specific uh, task or project. Now you can also have the uh, following options here, like whiteboards, goals, and polls here if you want to add those. But those are just additions that you might want to use here. But again, this actually depends on what you need and what you need, uh, need to accomplish here. So in this case, what we need to do first here for us to start using uh, ClickUp is we first need to basically create our space. Now spaces is a great way for you to uh, basically compartment uh, different certain topics. Like for example, if you want to separate your task for personal use or task for uh, for work or even task for certain events, this is how you actually organize them. So let's go ahead and click on create space here. And maybe I want to go ahead and create a space for work. And from here, you could add your description if you want to. And also, if you want to make this private, you could go ahead and make this private. And this is the only one, or in this case, only the people you invite here can actually view your, t uh, in this case, your space if you want to do that. So in this case, you can go ahead and add the person by clicking on add member option here and just click on continue. Now, in this case, we want to make this public since we want to create a open space for our work for workers. So go and click on continue. And from here, you could go and choose the workflow here. So we have project management, product engineering, marketing team here, or in this case, you have the starter. So since this is work, I would recommend you to choose your proper one that actually applies to you. So for example, we could choose project management here, which the default view is going to be list, board, calendar, and that and as well as team here. But for the starter here, we only have list and board. So in this case, what we need to do is we just need to click on project management here. Again, this actually depends on what you need. You also customize different uh, default view settings that you could uh, use here like map, mind map, timeline, table, workload, and activity as well. But for now, let's go ahead and click on create space here to create a space here. And from here, we now have our space. Now in this case, to further organize our uh, space here what i want to or recommend you try doing here is to basically use different folders let's go ahead and delete the default list that was generated when it, when we actually created our uh, space here let's go ahead and delete this one and let's go ahead and click on the plus button next to work here 
Now, in this case, we want to create a folder. So in this case, folders are a great way for you to further organize what you have. Like for example, let's go ahead and create a project. Let's just say this is going to be for a specific software development project one. So in this case, let's go ahead and basically proceed by uh, adding like confirming the creation here so you could also add statuses here if you want for uh if we want to use that so currently the active status that we have right now is going to be the active planning and progress at risk we have completed and we also have canceled so if you want to add another one you can go and click on the plus button here but for now you could go and use custom status if you want to but let's go and inherit our, uh, it from our space so you can click on apply changes and from here, you can also make this private if you want to. So it's going to be an invite only space or project, uh, section here. Let's go and click on create here. And we now have our folder. In this case, go and click on the plus button here to create your list if you want to. So in this case, we already have our space here. So you could go and just basically rename them if you want to. So for example, this is going to be our, uh, let's just say, uh, uh, requirements. So in this case, there are going to be some tasks that you want to do here for you to gather some requirements for your project. So let's go to the requirements here. The next thing you want to do is you want to start creating your task. So let's go and click on the option that says add task at the top right here and basically add our task. Like for example, we want to go ahead and contact our client. From here, you can add your description. You can even use AI to write your description here. And you can also immediately assign this to someone. So let's go ahead and assign this to ourself. Priority is going to be something high here because we want to uh, really contact our client first. And you can also add tags here. So tags is a great way for you to uh, search something immediately. Like for example, if you've added like customer, customer care, let's go ahead and basically use that specific tag, let's go ahead and press on enter. And we now have a customer tag, or in this case, whenever you type in customer tag, it should show this specific task here. Now in this case, you could go ahead and basically click on the create task here. Now by, uh, by the way, you could also click on due date here and choose a specific due date for your task. You can even set a recurring, so if it is a repeated task that you want to do over and over again on a weekly basis or on a daily basis, you, you could set the recurring here. Now in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be due, uh, let's just say next week. And from here, you can also add documents and some reminders, some chats, whiteboard, and even dashboard if you want to, if you want to organize those. Let's go ahead and click on task here. Click on create task. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and add our name here first. So let's go ahead and add our uh, test. By the way, if you remove uh, different sections here, it, it will actually uh, removes some of the data you have. So let's just add our, the add our. Uh, data and from here let's go and assign this to ourself due date is going to be next week priority is going to be high and let's just use customer care here and by the way you could also click on the three dot icon here and add dependencies subtask if you want to add or uh, use that checklist and time estimates as well let's go and click on create task here and we now have our to do which is the first task that, that we actually have now, in this case, uh, you could go to your uh, work section here, which in this case, it will show you different uh, tasks that you have. So it's going to be uh, organized in such a way that you could view what project you have. And in this case, what uh, type or what what list is actually included to. As you can see, it's going to be under requirements and this is the task that we have. So the more tasks you have, the more that will appear here. And again, depending on what you've add or what list you have, it will be, or the task will be under that section here whenever you view your work here. But if you view everything here, it will show you all the tasks that you have. So regardless of uh, what project or what space you have, they will be seen in here. As you can see, we have our workspace here appearing as well as the uh, folder that we created and the uh, list that we created. Now, the great thing about click up here is you could also change the view of your uh, project. In this case, you could choose board here, which is in this case, you can basically just drag and drop different tasks if you've actually uh, done them. Like for example, we have our uh, planning here. We also have the in progress section. So by the way, this column zero actually is the status that we actually added on our space here. So if you want to modify that, you might want to modify your space first. So like for example, you might want to uh, basically uh, access your space settings as well. But yeah, you can change the, it to team view. So in this case, uh, this is what's going to look like. So in this case, number of tasks here. So, but in this case, you need to have an upgrade plan for you to use this one. 
But yeah, so you can also use calendar here. So whenever something is actually acquired or you need to do here, this is going to be in a calendar view that you could basically just view anytime that you need. We also have the NAT, NAT uh, view here, which in this case allows you to view it in this format as well. And if you want to add additional views, you go and click on the view or plus view option here and choose whatever type of view that you want. So if you're, uh, if you're more familiar with a certain type of view here that is not included, you could basically add them in here, like for example, table. But yeah, so in this case, uh, those are the basics on how to start using uh, your uh, ClickUp account here or your board. And that's about it. So uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and scary button and watch our next video.